20, over 20 years of dust here. Well, that answers that. He was a doctor. No jumping Jehoshaphat. That just jumped out of there. Are you serious? Do you find a Picasso? Yes, that's money right there. Let's go. On three, two. Oh, all right, bring it in. On three, two. Maui President's Club. Those are pretty tight. What are these? Oh, no freaking way. Come on, baby. What is it? What is it? Pirates of all ages, it is I, your captain, speak, and we are here in this storage unit. We haven't actually got inside yet. We're just here in the facility, but this is going to be, I think, a landslide. Maybe not. We'll see, but I'm always hopeful. Very excited. First off, just so you guys know, I like to show you. We paid $4,010 plus 10% buyer's premium. We have $4,420. This person has rented this unit when they opened this facility over 20 years ago, two decades. Literally, he's never been in here. He's never came to the facility. He's never looked in his stuff, et cetera, et cetera. We are in San Ramon. San Ramon is one of the most expensive areas in all of California, let alone the country. If you guys know, um, I've heard of uh, Danville and Blackhawk. Blackhawk is where the millionaires and billionaires live. People like uh, Ken Baring, who owns the Seattle Seahawks, uh, started that um, country club, whatever. But that's just five, six miles down the road. That's the type of town this is. And the fact is, this they could be from there. That's what I feel like every time I buy a unit in this area. Maybe they're from Blackhawk. Anyway, let's stop chatting. Let's get to it. Let's see what's inside. All right, this is nuts, guys. First off, check this out. Twenty Over 20 years of dust here. He has not been here. This is the first thing you want to look at when you see a storage unit. But look at the spider webs. Tell me that's not insane, the level of dust. Nobody's touched it. Look at that. Huh. This says books, papers, guest books, 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 files, Bowden. I don't know. We're going to get to it. Let's get started. We're going to make a video here. That's my goal. Trailer's empty. Make one video. Get the rest. Save it for another day. Real quick, you guys, comment below. Tell me what you think is in this storage unit. What do you think we're going to find? And was I stupid for spending $4,420? All right, right off the bat, guys, we've gotten the first, this is the third box in. The first two, naturally, will look like files and paper. This one says books and files. I don't know. I don't know. Uh, confidential, neurologic, principal repayment of $2,000, prognosis group, I don't know what that is, prognosis group, I'll have to look that up, AT&T toll-free directory, ventures guide to international venture capital, so he's a venture capitalist, whatever that is, well that answers that. He was a doctor. So we bought a doctor's unit store, stored for 20 years. Come on, be his Rolex. No. More paper. This is not looking good so far. No jumping Jehoshaphat. That just jumped out of there. Okay. Be a little more positive because that was in, um, that was in a paper box. So that's a good sign and a bad sign. It means we have to be really thorough. There could be stuff under there. And we just found a nice 10 carat ring from a doctor. Policies, procedures, and handbook. Also as well, I wanna think about is, this is all vintage, so some of those doctor's magazines could be worth some money. 1981, fortune. He had money, he was investing, I can see that already. The amount of paperwork, venture capitalism, he probably had people doing things for him money-wise. Wonder what kind of uh, doctor he was. Another science. Ooh. Let's hurry up and get rich so we can focus on uh, FUD and not work. Did I see change? This could be some money because Radio Shack's out of business. So we got one good item. A little nasty. Yeah, I'm going to show you what I'm looking at here. It just worries me. See, like that right there. That like makes me a little sick. Shut the front door. Picasso. Are you serious? Do you find a Picasso? Man. Maybe we could have never know. We could find a real one. Big Smith. So this is the first thing I want to think about. Every piece of clothes in here is technically vintage. He's been in here for 20 years and he's never been in here. So right off the bat, we'll start setting all clothes aside. Weird box. I'm just like intrigued now at this point. Levi's. Oh yes, come on, be the biggie. Be the biggie. Be the biggie. Ooh, 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 ooh. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Yes, that's money right there. Anytime you find a big E, right off the bat, it means something. It means there's some type of value in that piece. 
<clears throat> oh, okay. So we got a buck fifty right here, and we might even have some good pennies in there. Oh, New England nuclear. Come on, come on, come on, baby. Come on, come on. Mmm. Okay, all right, that's not a bad start. That's not a bad start. Third box in, lots of change, 10 karat gold ring, a big E jeans, and a Picasso print. I think it's a print. I'm not gonna get all excited because it didn't strike me as an auto print, but let's just look in here a little more carefully. It could be money, but it's a little grody. There was heck up in this one box. Look at this piece right here. Champ oh, you know what? Now, right off the bat, I'm feeling like this is older stuff. I wonder if this is gonna be like a family member passed away, they put all this stuff in the storage and then the, the kids paid on it for years type of situation. Ooh, made in USA. Dexter, Super Slides, NASA, Space Tours. That could be good. I see things that just keep wanting to pop out of nowhere. Bernard Altman. Nice little suede McSuede. Oregon's jeweler since 19. Okay, let's go. On three, two, one. Oh, okay. I'm not gonna scoff at that. That is something. It's not like major, but it is definitely somebody's gold ring. Beautiful. All right. Nice. I'm feeling a little more confident about this coming into it. I would definitely recommend setting that aside because maybe somebody wants to develop this and there's no telling what this rich doctor uh, had inside of them. <laughs> All right, bring it in. On three, two, one. Texas first Miami, that's kind of cool. That is probably a good $8 item. Transcontinental theaters, okay. And some money, right on. That's not a bad first box. What do you guys think? Now, um, I was always, I, I'm always a little nervous. I don't care if I bought a unit for 20 grand, $2, whatever. I'm always nervous a little bit on the first look because it can go either way. But now we see this bad boy right here, 10 karat third box in we see that ring we see some good stuff right here i already see some money back what do you guys think now jackpot gonna be a good one still iffy all right continuing on now now that we see another book box it doesn't look as bad but is it just books oh no this one is literally just books it's all good it's all good we're not gonna win on every box we might have some good books we're gonna have to do a little bit of looking up because doctor's books could have some value, I think. You never know. Oh, great. All the stuff we always find in a storage unit. Medication. It's all good because it's only been this many boxes since we got a jackpot. <laughs> Don't forget, storage auction pirate. Every platform. YouTube, Facebook, Snapchat. Um, all of them. That's what we do. Don't forget, we also do auctions on YouTube once a week. Classified advertising, 1988. It's always a wonder what people... Store. Annual report, Securities and Exchange Commission's annual report pursuant to the Securities and Exchange Act, fiscal year 1985, Delaware. Okay, care mark. Okay, this was back before you could just push a button on the internet and sell your stuff, I guess. Electronic imaging. He was all over the map on the stuff he was doing. Again, I don't know if these books have value because some of these older things like this. Computer Blue Book. Wow, he was trying to sell computers. Bloomingdale's. Come on, save for the money or something, you know? I'm talking about old bars. Daddy needs a new truck. All right, that box was a wrap. It's now been this many boxes since we got a jackpot. I painted this in my black period. That's a little artist humor there. They always be like, that was in my blue period. That was in my red period. Yeah. National Health Directory, et cetera, et cetera. All right, let's get to the good stuff. Come on, let's get to the good, the good box. Let's come right on in with the master bedroom. Come on, master bedroom books. My favorite room in the house. Nope, it's VCR tapes. Come on, be some sealed ones. Look at this, Top Gun. There we go. Tapes, VCR tapes are really making a comeback in some weird ways, so not to be underestimated, especially if you get the right ones, which I don't know which ones are the right ones. I could just tell you that you want to take a look at them. Ooh, 
today. Please, for the love of the universe, let's go with the Transformer collection. I have not found a Transformer collection in some time. This is a VHS tape. Nice. I'm going to set that aside. That's a little bit of money, I think. The challenge of the robots. Oh, my gosh. The GoBots. The Scientific American. Such a weird packing. PBO for, for certain. Which means packed by owner. 007. Those could be good. Overnight of allergies. Okay. I used to freaking love this guy. One of my first uh, favorite shows I ever watched as a kid, which you're probably going to laugh at, it was Eddie Murphy Delirious. I grew up watching that. Open immediately your personalized memo set. Nothing. Clickbait. Nothing in this box. Clickbait. All right. Now we are on three. All right. So we did three boxes and three boxes last time. And then the fourth box became a jackpot. So, no, nope, we already did three boxes, right? Maybe it's a different this time. We need a fourth, a fifth box for the, the jackpot. The number increases each time. See, this is the difference between the tape just breaking with the heat and stuff. Maybe somebody went in it years ago when they first moved here. But this is not a gone through unit. You could tell it was open once and resealed. But that's, sometimes I would say, hey, this has been gone through. Not this unit. Not this type. The dust is sitting for too long. My heart's on fire. Pier 1 imports. That's not bad. That's kind of cool. So we got one print, two prints. I don't know what those are all about, but they're kind of neat. Huh. That's kind of neat, too. 75 cent prints. Browns, draw lines, fragrances. T Rose fragrance, okay. Come on, baby. Be something. Be something good. Ooh, brand new Estee Lauderdale. Vintage. Oh, look at that. That is a nice picture frame right there. This agreement is made between the anesthesia and critical health. I don't know if it's for explanation. Wow, there's some stuff going on here that I don't really know what they were doing, but they were doing something. Very weird, though. Everything is just kind of thrown in and mixed, but it's not like badly thrown in, but it's, ooh, somebody went to Harvard. It was a nice looking camera almost, but it looks like it's been dilapidated. Those are kind of cool. They're made in Taiwan, but there's still a cool little book in there, I guess. A pair of dash hounds. Let's set those aside. Some weird things. It doesn't make any sense yet, but we're going to piece it together as we go. That might be some money right there. That might be some money. A Newton message pad by Apple. I don't know. Ooh, this could be money too. Get a nice little building on electronics. Oh, yes. Let's see the number here. It's right there. Sony ICFSW. Okay, we're building a little bit of an electronics slot here. Ooh, a below the clock. Oh, a money bag. Why can't we find one of these full of money, huh? Come on, baby. I don't always wear money bag, but when I do. Maui President's Club. It's 1994. Ew, that's good. It's gross, though, because it's got that on there. Maui's President's Club. Where's his Rolex at? Uncle Michael, let's be a little more positive here. All right, that's a wrap on that one. Okay, at least it's adding up. It's adding up. A little messy, a little dusty. Larry Selker, I ain't seen him in forever. Think he's still alive? Yeah, hey, these are the reasons why things like Facebook that you don't like are good because you can find people like that. Oh, you don't want to find them, see? Selfish. Verbatim. Some of these are just really, really weird. Yeah, you're a little selfish. A little selfish. He's all right. Yeah, the, the Escalade. It's a, it's a, almost yard though. It's the knockoff or the, the lower end version, right? Isn't Nao like a subsidiary type lower end version? Still very cute. We'll get that set aside. I like finding something decent. 
He liked it. Okay, I thought those were maps. Okay. <laughs> Let's see what we got here. Those are pretty tight. What are these? Whoa, are these from the Jamaican bobsled team? Huh? Are these from the Jamaican bobsled team? I like them. What's no. They match my hat a little bit. What do you guys think? Hey, these, things are, these things are kind of cool the way you see differently. Are you, are you Jamaican? The colors are different when you look through it. Watch. They're just cool. All right, set that aside. That was very vintage. Jumping Jehoshaphat. I thought that was a freaking Rolex box. Man, come on, man alive. It's coming, Michael. Something's coming out of this storage unit. I feel it. Still think I told you I wanted to keep Ooh, that is nice. And Klein. Not allowed to be on camera if you're not wearing a shirt. Ah, oh, I thought that was a watch. It's kind of like a neat thing to see it. Hair from another country. I know, this is good to have for anything. Sony. You can make it universal. I thought that was the Rolex. I thought it was. It's kind of good to have. Money? Ten bands? No. Oh, now you want to be on camera? Come on, baby. Where is it at? Oh, no freaking way. Come on, baby. What is it? What is it? It's a Seiko. So close though, so close. Ooh, not gold, just a cute little piece. Davidson and Lich, that's a good jeweler. Look at those, those are 1972. I th you know what, I feel like I'd see Spencer wearing these. Why do I feel like I see them in a photo like that? I don't even know what Spencer looks like. Spencer, Uncle Michael wants you to text him a photo. 14 carat, they paid, there's no way they paid 244,000 for whatever Disneyland. Is it? Everything is empty in here. Ooh, that got me excited though, Pierre Cardin. That got me a little excited. Thought that was a Rolex in there for a minute. We got a little bit of change. Got a silver claw. Mellow Day. Someone's teeth. No. Anti-stress suppressants, I should take that. One of my favorite places to look, like I said, is always the dresser. You just never know what's in there. I think I prefer nightstands next to dress. What would you say, Uncle Michael, when you were a mover statistically, what, where was the nicest stuff when you were packing people home? I would have to say the dresser. The closet often, too, is a good one. But All right, we've got a couple more chances here for some. Paula Abdul. I used to have such a crush on her. What's my favorite song on here? Um, straight Up Now, Tell Me. That's probably my favorite song on here, I would say. Uh, Nothing in here. Got to get all silver. Okay, we got a lot of sweaters, which sucks because these are vintage. The sweater weather is fading. So, what what flag is this? This Texas That's Lone Star State. Is yeah, it? Lone Star State. They are from Texas. Oh, I thought this said uh, your name on it, but it says Duckhead instead. Sorry. I think you would wear those shorts. Check them out. No. This looks like something my dad shorts. would have wore back in the day. Yes, it does. It does, he said. Christian Dior, man, they don't make them like this no more. I ask, cause I'm that short. You know what? I wonder if Jess would like this. No, you don't know that. It's uh, she no, likes Christian. Better. She likes Christian Dior, I think. We got Ralph Lauren. So they had good brands. I'm gonna definitely be definitely, definitely, definitely going through clothes very well and stuff like that. Maui Beach Club hats are hot right now, so we're definitely the hat I want to see. I can put the box wings across there, no? Like. Well, I got it's like I always gotta tell you how to do things. I'm sorry. Oh yeah. look, it's like your truck. That's no, cool. not quite, but it's, it's still pretty tight. That's a different find. I feel like this was somebody's parents' stuff. I just get this feeling by the aging of everything. Oh my god. Oh Transformers party hat. Robots in disguise. Raise your hand if you liked. Fighters or uh, Transformers, that comes to my brain right there. I like, that was probably my favorite cartoon as a kid and I think Optimus Prime is my all time favorite hero. The most humble of all of them. That's what's very important is humility. Research projects. Ooh, is that Fendi? Has that Fendendi look. I like the aging of the clothes though because clothes is so hot right now. Gucci. <laughs> These are a little dilapidated and soft. Put that aside for the Gucci pile. I'm probably gonna have a Gucci lot coming up. We got another hat for the J.R. Ewing 
Isn't J.R. Ewing from Dallas? Yeah. That's funny, and the bill's broken, too. I remember that show. My parents used to love that show. Matter of fact, I think I liked it, too. It's a sheet set. It's a whole bunch of sheet right there. It is perfection for a queen. I guess we better put these transformer pieces here aside, or whatever they are, GoBots, maybe? Oh! Okay, that was just change. You guys saw that. I didn't get scared. I didn't get nervous. Look at that. Goes with that truck. I know, with little horses. That's pretty tight. Goes with the truck. You need some underwear, Uncle Mike? No, I'll let Commando. Here's a bunch right here if you do. Oh, wow, an admiral with the with the, uh, scrambled eggs. No, tight eggs anymore. You? This is a very unique load. I have a warm spot in my heart. Ooh, isn't this an, aren't these expensive? You need to get one? Quick pin? Yeah. Should we say that for Alex? Allergy. No, they're for, it looks like they're for bee bites, and Alex is always a chicken when it comes to bees. Look at that, 1978. They gave me one for allergy. A couple of those, those are nice. And that makes that box a wrap. Hall closet miss. Good place to find the silver set. Four nasty towels and rugs. Who are they? Packers. This is how Uncle Mike used to pack, guys. John Williams. What is that? Is that a drum thing? That doesn't even make sense. I thought you knocked, uh, knocked over my stand there for a second. That's kind of nice. I'd be happy to write you a check. Was there anything good in there? No. That's kind of a nice little rug. Bloomingdale's wool pile, material size, colored cherry, serial number 738. Country of origin, Pakistan. What is that, a speaker? Dresser, ooh, the nightstands, huh? The nightstands for that. All right, what do we got here? I think we kind of did a quick glance on this the other day. Radiant systems. I'll probably set most of these shirts aside for the next uh, for my whatnot. This could be something. Sealed Seven Quest. That's an old game. Got a Bill Cosby sweater here. That's kind of cool. We're setting all those aside for now because we got a Calvin Klein right there. That's kind of a nice one. All right, Pirates. Uh, we're going to wrap up this video here soon. Maybe it's the last box. We got a lot to go, a lot to do today. Definitely more coming. Make sure you hit the like button. The share button. Subscribe. That's important. Say some, some pretty things. Let Uncle Michael know how pretty his hair is. Look, there's a... Have you... This guy was... Save your next affair. Have your next affair in Aspen. If that was only bigger, you would so wear that. I could so yeah, see you wearing that. What? Somebody, I don't know who it was. Somebody. some nice old jeans here, too. These are little ease, but... Are these yeah. OR scrubs? Texas time. Texas time. This side up. Texas time. Oh, that's kind of tight. I wonder if Michaela would want that because it's uh, Cowboys in Texas. That's not bad. One more, one more little tiny cool item. Pirates, we got so much more to go through. One thing that's kind of cool is you see some art starting to formulate there. Art, we found a Picasso print. Maybe he's got a real one. You see all this stuff way in here. It looks like a lot of books and stuff. But remember, we found gold rings and all sorts of things. Christian Dior, vintage. We're going to continue going through this. We'll make another video. Like I said, don't forget to hit the like button, the share button. Most importantly, say something pretty like Uncle Michael. You got A-plus hair. And... Oh. So Uncle Mike, show your rings. Oh, you want to show everybody your rings? Yeah, see my rings? Somebody's asking about it. Will you guys see that right there? Oh, uh, yeah. That's happened last time he back talked. That's probably hurt me. Yeah. I love y'all.